know, when I first started like getting pregnant and stuff, I just thought it's going to take such a long time for the baby to arrive. But in the blink of an eye, suddenly, soon, like really soon, and my whole life is going to change. Today's Guide to Life is about having a baby and it'll be the final installment of it because today, just in about two hours time, I'm going to be actually having my baby. And right now, I am sort of uh, resting in my Mount Elizabeth Daffodil Suite. And it's so cool because they actually gave me this like, very, very huge suite. La. The biggest one in the hospital and it's super luxurious with a big sitting area and stuff. So, you know, my friends and family can come visit. Yeah, I guess the last time round, you know, the like Guide to Life had such a big moment was maybe, you know, my wedding day. And I would say that like I'm feeling about the same amount of happiness right now. And I'm just so glad everybody is very excited together with me as well. So yeah, it's cool. I'm excited, a little nervous. Uh, less nervous than I was last night, but uh, still a little bit. Mostly excited. Um, last night I'm really you had curious. A, like, a panic attack. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, I was um, just like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> be a dad. Yeah. I hope that the baby looks like him la, because I think he's very cute and I don't think that a man who looks like me will look good because maybe it will look like mm, my brother or something or my dad which is weird, I don't want to better look like him. <laughs> Yeah, in case you're wondering how come like I can put makeup and stuff like normally like people give birth that time really look very stressful and like you know like sweaty and stuff right no because I chose a uh, elective C section so which means I got all the time in the world to get ready and Dr. Law told me that I am okay to put makeup. So actually I asked him ah, like can I put makeup before the surgery and he said why not? Like he gave me a really like why not face so that's great, he's great. <laughs> I love him. Okay, so this is the notice board at Mao Yi. And uh, when I was given the tour here, they actually directed me to see this photo of uh, Zoe Tay and her husband and her, her kid. La. Then I feel like she actually put in quite a lot of effort on what to wear because she's like wearing like all black with like a what looks like a mess scarf. So I actually thought very long and hard about what to wear because just in case they put my photo next to hers, I cannot tell Lian, you know. So yeah. <laughs> So I must be like trendy, good looking mom also. Yeah, see, I even dyed my hair and like, you know, curled it. She wear a cap, eh? she cheating. I'm talking to Mike's family now on Skype, so with his two brothers and his mom. It's Sunday here, so he will be born a Easter bunny. I was telling Mike we should dress him up as a bunny when he comes out. <laughs> <laughs> we just want a healthy baby. And I will spoil him, for sure. And I don't care what Wendy and Mike will say. I don't care. I was I will do I will give him all the attention. Sorry Wendy, no more. <laughs> yeah, so now I'm in my hospital gown. Um, that's all I've been told so far. It's everything is very overwhelming, so I'm just gonna listen to the nurses tell me one step at a time what to do. Seems to be working. Yeah. Yeah. I think I need some medicine. I have to put a cap. Yes. <laughs> What's the point of me calling my hair? <laughs> so you you call me hair for this one. Really? Right? Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, so girls next time don't bother curling your hair. Bye bye. Yes. FYI. Bye bye. See ya. Yeah. No point for my ribbon. I have to wear this stupid thing. Just changing my scrubs, so all ready to go into the operating theater and witness them cut my wife open and take my baby out. So, uh, yeah, excited. Yeah, it's really high. I told you you should get the last one. Yeah, I did. I, I breathed in so much of it. Then at first I was like, this has no effect, this is stupid. And then yeah. after that I was like, oh my god. I think I've been rambling non stop. Right? We have already started, yeah. The okay. Wow. Don't worry, yeah. How do you know that you don't cut too deep in and like slice the baby? Uh, I have many, many years of experience, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> which is why. <laughs> this is great. Chowbomb is easy. Chowbomb is a piece of cake. Am I shouting? I'm shouting. Yes, you are. Sorry. You're drunk, man. Yeah, I'm very drunk. I'm very high. Oh, yeah.
Oh, maybe it's out. It was like so easy. I didn't do anything. Somebody pushed it and then it was out. And he looked so hopeful and full of blood and stuff. But not as gross as I thought it would be. You got a boy. He looks good. He looks healthy. I can't believe you are hitting with me. I'm great, I produced a baby. And he's so cute. I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain. I, I feel, you know, like instantly close to, to my kid, I guess. So. I'm wondering if I'm doing this right, you know? <laughs> kind of windy. It feels right. They're uh, done putting uh, Wendy back together, and so we're going to take the baby up and see her in a moment, so I'm pretty excited to see how, how she reacts on her she gets her baby back. Very chubby and uh, very healthy baby. I'm just here to cry. So I'm <laughs> very proud of my best friend. Oh, and the baby is so cute. I'm very happy for Wendy and the baby is very cute. Okay, he's so cute. Hey, my baby. Congratulations. Baby, very cute. And big eyes. Oh, the nose are high. So the childbirth itself is very easy. And then once it's out, it's like super bit painful. It's not really painful, but just very, very like weird. Like menstrual cramp like this. Yeah. Yeah. I'm happy that everybody thinks that he's very cute. He eats single round face. Oh. He got your favorite part of me. Really? Yeah. Uh, like my. <laughs> so cute. Like the eyebrows that are like. Droopy. Yeah, droopy eyebrows. Like, like, yeah. The kind eyebrows. So you can't do wrong even if you're a mother or everybody thinks that you're a nice person. <laughs> really well behaved too, he hardly cried at all. So far, maybe he's on drugs too because of... Oh, there it is. He wants to prove it. Okay, so I guess we've come to the end of the episode and I'm feeling very, very goggy so I think I'm going to go sleep now. And yeah, it's very weird la. I'm a mother now. I'm feeling very happy but at the same time I'm also very dropped up. So yeah, this feels weird. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching and I can't wait for you guys to see him in new videos next time. Bye!